Hey everyone. Uh, so many times we are presenting, we share a slide, Google slide in most cases nowadays, which is fantastic to see. And I really appreciate everybody that's switched over to Google. Um, so what you're doing is you're sharing the slide. And uh, oftentimes what, what we find is that we have created the slide, but we forget to change the sharing preferences. And then we have to go back and we have to fix the sharing preferences. Or uh, some people are in the team drive. Some people are not in the team drive. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to share with you to help alleviate some of that confusion is it's called um, publishing to web. Uh, and you can publish a Google slide document to the web where it looks like a website. So here's what we're used to seeing. And people have to click on a link. And when they want to click on a link that's hyperlinked on the page, they click it and then they double click it again uh, to take them to that page. A lot of clicking, a lot of extra clicking. Uh, so I want to show you what it might look like now. This is called Publish to Web. It's cleaner. Uh, it's still the same presentation, so I can still navigate through it. When I click on a link, it takes me directly to the page. Um, I don't have to double click or triple click in some cases. And so I wanted to share how you can make this happen with your presentations through Google Slides as well. Okay, so let's come back over here to um, our presentation. To get started, once your presentation is to a point where you're ready to share it or make it web accessible, uh, you're going to come up to File, Publish to Web, and super simple. Um, what I get into the habit of is I just change it from every three seconds changing to every minute. Uh, and you can either start it automatically or restart so it can be on a loop. And that's always nice to know. Um, but ultimately, all you have to do is click Publish. So I click the blue Publish button. Are you sure you want to publish this section? Yes. I'm going to click OK. And from there, I'm going to copy this particular URL here. Okay, That's an important URL. And that's what you're going to post for your public, your, your learning audience to access or hyperlink to. And then I'm going to close this. So now if I go to a brand new tab, and I paste that URL in, I can now uh, I have my presentation. It looks like a website, it's clean, it's inviting, and everybody still has access to it. Also, what's really nice is if I update this particular slide here, I'm going to put a shape on there just so you can see how instant it is. I've got this gray shape. I'm not going to do anything special to it. I'm going to come back to my slide. And as I get to there, all I have to do, so it's not there, I just refresh my browser. Instantly, it's updated. So it's that quick. As I'm working with folks and I update my presentation, I say, please refresh your browser. Boom. They refresh and it's instantly there. So it's super important, really simple to do for you, even better for your learners to not have all this extra stuff to get the you know to add to the confusion or add to the uh, uh, add to any other issues that might happen. What I really like about this as well is, as we have links to content or videos, the videos play instantly, which is lovely. Or if you have links. You click on it, it instantly opens a second tab, and it continues to add to the conversation rather than having to do multiple double clicks or triple clicks throughout the presentation. Okay, hopefully that's helpful to you. Thanks.